Welcome back to Digital Rapscallions. I am your captain speaking, and we are attempting to solve the Druid riddles to gain the protection of the Green Man. Um, we have the solutions for each of them, so we're going to look them up. Thanks to my lovely little hand guide that I have written here, we will be able to write all the answers. High born, my touch is gentle. Pure as white is my lace. Silent. Silent is my kingdom. Green is the color of my death. Hmm. So, highborn, my touch is snow. No, my touch is gentle. The answer is snow. Um, so we need S, N, O, W. Kind of fitting for a Canadian, right? Alright, two more. I am outstretched fingers that seize hold the wind. Uh, is a feather. F. H E R Go on. Ah, you are right again. The final riddle is upon you. Golden treasures I contain. Ah, well, I know this one. The golden treasures is honey, so a beehive. B E E H I V and E. Beehive. Freedom. Paper. My oath, it's good to feel my toes astride the earth again. Spoken like a true fleshling, now heed me. From this moment on, my protection is yours. I have laid a spell upon your form and the clothing of your flesh. In this form alone will the trees know you. When the danger upon you when danger is upon you, seek out the heart of the grove of druid trees. Only within the grove is the magic power of enough. The spell of the druids secret name of the druid trees, and they will hide you until the danger is past, but only the true druid name, spelled in code, will serve. I weary of this mad speech. Farewell. Alright, so off I go back to town. Oh, my men begged me to tell all, but some things I keep to myself. It was enough to tell them of the dangerous mission I must undertake. I trow, Robin, you look happier than I've seen in many a month. Aye, with a smile that won't fade and a dreamy look in your eyes. Ah, there can be a one cause for such contentment, and her name is Marion. She loves me as truly as I love her. You'll meet her soon and judge her worth for yourselves. What of this task she sets for you? I'll worry about that when the fair begins. I must also find a way to enter the tournament, and avoid Prince John's spies. No risk is too great for our king. The days of the Saturday fair speed by, to the Saturday fair. Merchants, vendors, and travelers of every description come up from London, down from York on foot, horse, mule, and carts and wagons, or by boat and barge upon the River Trent. We leave Watling Street alone, having no desire to hinder those going to the fair or stir up trouble with the sheriff, until the time is right. Alright, we are on day eight, to save my game. Uh, looking for trouble, because that's what I do. Let's go outside and see what we can stir up here. Oh, there's the crew. What ho, lads? You all look a trifle glum. Have you forgotten? Today is the Saturday fair. The merchant will be filled with uh, the town will be filled with merchants from all parts of the world. Fine goods, the archery tournament, good food. How can I forget my mission? I must find a way to safe way to go to the fair today. But if that's what worries you, of course not. We're wishing we could go. Well, go. You're all clever men. If you can find a means and wish to risk your necks, by all means do so. That's all we wanted to hear, Robin. We didn't want to get in your way. Rubbish, be off with you, but don't get caught. And now they all take off to do their own respectful things. And now I get to go harass Waddle or er, Watling Street. Maybe they'll go beat people up. <laughs> Who knows? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, people, get out of the way. Alright, let's go check the overpass. As I look down upon the road. It's sullen emptiness. For now. We should be able to see an archer sometime soon. Let's see if we can find him. There he is! Or both archers. I bid you welcome to Sherwood Forest, good yeoman. Good day. You're going to Nottingham. Yep, that I am. 
And from the looks of you, you're sh to shoot in the archery tournament. Yep, that I am. Here, man, a few words. Yep, I'd be a simple country man of the North Country. You seem a little afraid. Were you warned of the bold outlaw Robin Hood? It is he who stands before you. I fear God and I fear the devil, but I fear not else. Well said, my friend, and if I want payment from you before you pass along Watling Street, I have not but three pennies to pay my way to town and compete. That's why I go to shoot. The prize is a golden arrow. I mean to win it, for the lass I love cannot wed me till her father finds me worthy. But if he seek to rob me, I'll nay stand idly by. Mark ye that. Well, let's pay him first, folks. I'll make you a bargain. You see, I have a need to enter Nottingham today, and your clothes would make a fine disguise. Uh, yep, so you could try for that golden arrow you're for yourself, I reckon. Nay, keep your coins, I'll... Wait, my purpose is more urgent than the tournament, though I could indeed put that golden arrow to greater use than you can guess. You may be a fine archer, but I know the competition, and I say, without slighting you, that you stand little chance. Here's what I offer. A purse of silver worth fifty marks, and a new suit of clothes in fine Lincoln green. Tis, tisn't half uh, the worth of the golden arrow, but a respectable sum all the same. In Nottingham, you risk all and likely gain nothing. Here, you risk nothing and gain far more than you have now. I'll not sell my bows and bow or arrows. Of course not, my friend. Would I want to shoot with other than my own bow? I'll see that purse of silver first if you don't mind. Not that I don't trust you, but... Ha! Ah, gladly will I oblige you. Stand fast while I call my men. Ah, see, I knew he said that at some point in this game. I just remember when. I think we're all supposed to be going off to hide for the tournament, and now they're just randomly here. This good yeoman has made a fair bargain with me. Tuck, I promised him a purse of silver worth fifty marks. Fifty marks? For what? Why, for his clothes. Well, bring him a suit of new cloth and fetch me... and fetch back an eye patch for me as well. Fifty marks? For those clothes? Well, you'll take my own garb and weapons back to my cave. But fifty marks! Come, my penny-counting friar, he does me a service, and he has a fair lass to, uh, to win to wife. Bring him his purse and wish him well. <laughs> For fifty marks, she'd be the most, best be the most beautiful girl in the shire. The eye patch has completed your disguise nicely, Robin, but if you enter the tournament, one eye or two, no man will best me. Escort our friend by the shortest way north through Sherwood. I wager he's eager to find a home to a certain lass as quickly as his feet can carry him. Uh, yep, that I am. God preserve you, outlaw. You be a good man. Kiss the girl once for me. I'll need you that, but I thank you all the same. Hey, that was kind of creepy. All right, so I now have a disguise. I look like an archer. Not that I didn't look like an archer before, but now I can go into Nottingham. So let's go out to the fair, shall we? Yay! Yeah. Okay, so we're wandering around the fair. We gotta find the scholar who's going to have the coat of arms that I'm looking for. So let's wander around and look around. See what we got here. A pitcher selling spurs. A man listening to his friend. A woman and her child. A man selling tools. A one-legged beggar. I might as well go to the beggar some money. Of course, that lady walking around up there is probably Maid Marian. She said she was coming here in disguise. Be nice to the dude and give him a coin. Hmm. This guy's moving, so let's see if he's got anything interesting. Tell me of your wares. I'm sadly depleted. I've sold all my powders to settle the uh, stomach, for it seems the man hereabouts has been selling a stew of dubious quality. This fellow here before you has purchased all of my love filters. I still have some exquisite scented oils for two pennies each. Scented oils. What's your desire, sir? I wish something for a lady unsurpassed beauty and subtle wit. Only one thing will do, then. The oil of the rose. Smell this, sir. Aye, this, this is, that is perfect, but I cannot take it to the lady myself for reasons of delicacy. Say no more, give me the lady's name and I shall deliver it to her myself when the day is done. And take it to Lady Mary in compliments of an archer named Puck. It will be done. A woman writing something. 
Christy Marks. Congratulations, you found me. I suppose you'll want to be rewarded. Here, I'll give you some points. Oops, got a little bit carried away there. Keep me while I fix it. Whoops, sorry to mean that. Let me give it one more try. I think I better leave well enough in my own. Christy Marks is the creator of the game. And she's giving me three points, so I was in there again. And I'm wandering around the fair, but I gotta find my Mary. She'll be coming this way any minute, so I'm gonna hang out here and see if I can catch her on the thing on our next episode.